the more evidence we have, the better we can get uh, to the bottom of what really is the nature of such an object. A recent announcement from Harvard University has put NASA on high alert. Astronomers have identified that the path of the interstellar object, 3I Atlas, is deeply concerning. The crimson plains of Mars, a planet of fascination and future hope, lie directly in its path. This isn't science fiction. It's a real and developing situation. The sheer size and speed of this object are staggering, making it a threat of planetary proportions. You can search uh, uh, for an image, a high-resolution image of the object, so that you can tell out of that whether it's a rock or something else. What many don't realize is that an impact of this magnitude could have a domino effect, with implications that extend far beyond the red planet. Collision course with Mars. In the vast, silent expanse of space, where stars are born and die in a cosmic ballet of unimaginable scale, a lone traveler has emerged from the interstellar darkness. This isn't just any piece of rock or ice. This is 3I Atlas, a messenger from a distant, unknown star system. For years, it journeyed through the void, a silent testament to the mysteries that lie beyond our own solar system. But now, its silent journey has been interrupted by the gravitational pull of our sun, and it has been drawn into a path that has sent a wave of alarm through the scientific community. You see, this celestial wanderer is on a direct collision course with Mars. The crimson plains of the red planet, a world that has captivated human imagination for centuries, is now the target of a cosmic projectile of immense power. The discovery of 3I Atlas was a moment of both excitement and trepidation. Astronomers at Harvard, using the powerful PanSTARRS Survey Telescope, were the first to spot this unusual object. At first, it was just a faint speck of light, another addition to the ever-growing catalog of celestial bodies. But as they tracked its movement, a startling picture began to emerge. Unlike the asteroids and comets that are native to our solar system, 3I Atlas was moving at a speed and trajectory that could only mean one thing. It was an interstellar visitor. This was only the second such object ever to be detected, after the enigmatic Oumuamua, which had baffled scientists with its strange, elongated shape and unusual acceleration. But 3I Atlas was different. It was much larger, and its path was far more predictable. And that's what made it so terrifying. The calculations were undeniable. If it stayed on its current course, it would intersect with the orbit of Mars. A collision was not just a possibility, it was a probability. To put it mildly, the news sent shockwaves through the astronomical community. NASA, the agency that has been at the forefront of space exploration, was immediately put on high alert. The thing nobody tells you is that while we have plans for deflecting asteroids that threaten Earth, we have no such plan for an object coming from interstellar space. These visitors are faster, often larger, and their composition is a complete mystery. We are, in essence, defenseless against them. The discovery of 3I Atlas has exposed a chilling vulnerability in our planetary defense systems. We are like a house with a locked front door, but with all the windows wide open. The threat is not just from within our own cosmic neighborhood. It can come from anywhere, at any time. The sheer scale of 3I Atlas is hard to comprehend. It is estimated to be several miles in diameter, a mountain of rock and ice hurtling through space at a speed of over 100,000 miles per hour. An impact from an object of this size would be catastrophic. The energy released would be equivalent to millions of nuclear bombs, creating a crater hundreds of miles wide and triggering a global dust storm that would enshroud Mars for years, possibly even decades. 5. The planet's thin atmosphere would be blown away, and any possibility of past or present life would be extinguished in an instant. The landscape of Mars, a world of ancient riverbeds and towering volcanoes, would be forever scarred, a brutal reminder of the violent nature of the cosmos. The thing is, we are only just beginning to understand the true nature of this interstellar threat. But the secrets of 3I Atlas run deeper than we can imagine. A second messenger? The discovery of 3I Atlas has inevitably drawn comparisons to Oumuamua, the first interstellar object ever to be detected in our solar system. The name Oumuamua is Hawaiian for scout, a fitting name for a visitor from a distant star. 
But this scout was a strange one. It was long and thin, like a cosmic cigar, and it was tumbling end over end as it sped through our solar system. What many overlooked was its unusual acceleration. It was moving away from the sun faster than it should have been, as if something was pushing it. This led some scientists, most notably Ave Loeb, the chairman of Harvard's astronomy department, to propose a radical theory. Oumuamua was not a natural object. It was an alien probe, a piece of extraterrestrial technology sent to our solar system to gather information. The idea was met with a great deal of skepticism from the scientific community. But Loeb, a respected and accomplished astronomer, stood by his theory. He argued that the strange shape and acceleration of Oumuamua could not be explained by any known natural phenomena. It was, he believed, a solar sail, a type of spacecraft that is propelled by the pressure of sunlight. The theory was controversial, to say the least. But it opened up a fascinating new possibility. We are not alone in the universe. And the evidence of that is flying right through our own cosmic backyard. Now, with the arrival of 3i Atlas, the alien probe theory is being revisited. What if Oumuamua was just the first of many such objects? What if 3i Atlas is another messenger from the same, or a different alien civilization? The thing is, we have no way of knowing for sure. Our telescopes can only tell us so much. They can tell us the size, shape, and trajectory of an object. But they can't tell us what it's made of, or what its purpose is. To do that, we would need to get up close and personal. We would need to send a probe to intercept it. And that is a monumental challenge. These interstellar objects are moving at incredible speeds, and they are only in our solar system for a brief period of time. 7. It's like trying to catch a bullet with a butterfly net, but the possibility, however remote, is too tantalizing to ignore. The James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful telescope ever built, is now being used to study 3i Atlas in unprecedented detail. Eight scientists are hoping to get a better look at its composition, to see if it is made of the same materials as the asteroids and comets in our own solar system. If it is not, then it would be a strong indication that it is indeed a visitor from another star. And if that is the case, then the question of its purpose becomes all the more urgent. Is it just a random piece of debris? Or is it something more? Is it a message in a bottle, a beacon from a distant shore? Or is it something far more sinister? The answer to that question could be waiting for us on the surface of Mars, a world on the brink. The prospect of a collision with 3i Atlas has cast a long shadow over the future of Mars. The Red Planet has always been a source of fascination for humanity. It is the most Earth-like planet in our solar system, and it is the most likely place to find evidence of past or present life. We have sent rovers to explore its surface, and we have plans to send humans there in the near future. Mars is not just a planet. It is a symbol of our hopes and dreams our relentless curiosity, our unyielding desire to explore the unknown. But all of that could be wiped away in an instant. A collision with 3i Atlas would not just be a scientific setback, it would be a profound and devastating loss. What many overlooked is that Mars has been hit by large objects before. The surface of the planet is littered with craters, a testament to a violent and chaotic past. The largest of these is the Hellas Basin, a massive impact crater that is over 1,400 miles in diameter and 5 miles deep. It was created by a collision with an asteroid billions of years ago, an event that would have sterilized the entire planet. But Mars has a way of healing itself. Over time, the wind and the dust have smoothed over the scars of the past, and new life may have found a way to take root in the most unlikely of places. But a collision with 3i Atlas would be different. It would be an event of such magnitude that it would not just scar the planet, it would fundamentally change it. It would be an extinction-level event, a cosmic reset button that would erase billions of years of history. The thing is, the threat of 3i Atlas is not just about the potential destruction of a planet, it is also about the potential loss of knowledge. If there is life on Mars, even if it is just microbial, it would be the most profound discovery in the history of science. It would prove that we are not alone in the universe, that the spark of life is not unique to our own world. But a collision with 3i Atlas would destroy any evidence of that life, 
erasing it from the cosmic record forever. We would be left with nothing but questions, a tantalizing glimpse of what might have been. It would be a tragedy of cosmic proportions, a loss that we could never recover from. But not all things are what they seem. Many people are crazy about the idea of terraforming Mars, of transforming it into a second Earth. And a collision with three I atlas, as destructive as it would be, could actually help to achieve that goal. But the stakes of this game are higher than we could ever have imagined. When worlds collide. The collision of three I atlas with Mars would be a spectacular and terrifying event. But the consequences would not be limited to the red planet. The impact would send a shower of debris into space, creating a new asteroid belt in our solar system. This would pose a significant threat to our satellites, our spacecraft, and even to our own planet. The thing nobody tells you is that space is not as empty as it seems. It is filled with rocks and dust, the remnants of ancient collisions and cosmic explosions. And we are constantly flying through this cosmic minefield. A new asteroid belt would make the journey through space even more perilous, and it would put a serious damper on our plans for future space exploration. But the ripple effect of the collision would not just be physical, it would also be psychological. The destruction of a planet, even a distant one, would be a profound and deeply unsettling event. It would be a stark reminder of our own vulnerability, of the fact that we are living on a fragile and precious oasis in the vast and unforgiving desert of space. It would be a cosmic wake-up call, a moment of collective soul-searching that would force us to confront our own mortality. We would be forced to ask ourselves some difficult questions. Are we doing enough to protect our own planet? Are we taking the threat of cosmic impacts seriously? Or are we just sleepwalking our way to our own destruction? What many overlooked is that the threat of 3i Atlas is not just a scientific problem, it is also a political one. The decision of what to do about it will not be made by scientists alone. It will be made by politicians, by world leaders who will have to weigh the costs and benefits of any potential course of action. Do we try to deflect it? And if so, how? Do we use nuclear weapons, a solution that is fraught with its own set of risks and dangers? Or do we simply stand by and watch as a world is destroyed? These are not easy questions, and there are no easy answers. The thing is, we are running out of time. The window of opportunity to act is closing fast. The story of 3i Atlas is a stark reminder that we are not the masters of our own destiny. We are but a small and fragile part of a much larger and more mysterious cosmos. What if the real message of this interstellar visitor is not one of destruction, but of humility? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-bending journeys into the unknown. What do you think? Are we alone in the universe? Let us know in the comments below.